Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal a contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember, Remember us, O Lord, Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember, Remember us, O Lord, Lord, as you, you favor your, your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise, Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. 
I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So God is pretty angry at the Israelites because he's the one who saved them. He's the one who rescued them from Egypt. And yet they doubt God. And so they start building another image like they did in the old days uh, when there were many gods. And so he's, he's angry and he wants to take his wrath out on the people. But Moses intercedes. Moses prays that God would not harm his people. And he doesn't. The Lord relents. And so isn't it true that in our own lives, there are people who pray for us, who prevent us from doing the wrong thing or silly things or crazy things, right? We have them in our life. And sometimes our own prayers are to the people in our lives that we worry about the most. Maybe it's somebody who's not been able to get to church. Of course, that's everybody's excuse right now because we can't really come to church to worship, only to, to pray on our own. But you know what I mean. The people in our lives about whom we worry, who we say, God, please, and we fill in the blank. Oh, Lord, in your kindness, could you fill in the blank? But the thing that I think frustrates us the most is God doesn't seem to answer our prayers. Now, some of us would say, Oh yes, God answered my prayers, no question about it, when it came to that person or, or that situation. But I want to remind all of us, myself included, that when we're praying for somebody and we really want that transformation, that change of heart, that coming back to the Lord, that we can do a lot, God can do a lot, but it's up to that person. Because you see, when we're praying, we're praying in the face of free will. The gift that God gives each one of us that place where we make choices that are either of God or not of God. And so our prayer can also be, Lord, open that person's heart to feeling your spirit at work in him or her. And may they have that gift of knowledge, of insight, of understanding, of your spirit truly pushing them. So we got to keep praying. That's what the Lord teaches us. Be persistent in prayer. Jesus talks about who's testimony and who's testifying and all this and that and the other thing about John the Baptist. You believe John the Baptist, but here I am, the Son of God, and you don't believe me. And isn't that true sometimes even today in the midst of everything that's going on? Do we really believe that God is in our midst? Do we really believe that God is the God who saves us, who loves us? who brings us to that safe place. Yes, that is our God. And so we pray that the doubt and fear don't enter our hearts so that we continue to rely on God to get us through whatever it is. Jesus came that we might know God more deeply, more intimately. May we go to the same God who went to the cross for our sake as we are worried, fearful, for ourselves and for others. Amen. And now we bring our prayers to our God who listens in his mercy. For all the church, during this Lenten season, we may, uh, may the Lord increase in us hearts for sharing and self-denial. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve either as elected or appointed authorities, may the God of wisdom bless them with the skills and gifts necessary for true servant leadership. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick in our community, especially those who are sick with the virus, May the healing consolation of Christ be upon them and make them whole, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may the steadfast love and mercy of God draw us ever closer to him through the life and death of Christ his Son. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died at our masses today, we remember Louis de Scala, the Boniato family, Alfonso, and Anna Catoya. May they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own needs that we now speak. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, as once you heard the prayers of your Son, Jesus Christ, hear now our prayers and petitions that we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, us Savior of the world, world, for by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis our Pope and Frank our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Aloysius, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Friends, join me in the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe you are really here. I believe you are really here in the blessed sacrament. In the blessed sacrament, I love you more than anything in the world. I love you more than anything in the world, and I hunger to receive you. And I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, but since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. Feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself to you now. I unite myself to you now. As I do. I I actually receive you as I do when I actually receive you. Amen. Amen. I will place my law within them, and I will write it upon their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan 
and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. May God bless you.